Hugo. <laughs> Please come in. Good day, Pastor. Good day, Mr. Collins. Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you, sir? You're welcome. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you doing, Pastor? Fine. I can see you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was privileged to be with your wife yesterday. We spoke at length. Um, but she's not fine. Okay. What is the problem? Well, I think that's how she wants it to be. A child that says his mother will not sleep, will also not sleep. Your wife told me the problem between you and herself is because of President Buhari. That's it. My wife is supposed to know. I guess she told you everything. Um, President Buhari is my man. She knows that. But she has refused to accept that fact. And it will continue to be a problem until she accepts that fact. I'm surprised that people like you are still supporting President Buhari, despite the killings and hunger in the land. Well, Pastor, you are a man of God. And as I expect you to see that President Buhari is not the cause of all this. You should know. You should know. You are a man of God. You study the word of God. How? Who is the cause? Who, are, who is the cause of the problem? Well, can you give me a Bible? Let me show you something. I'm well, sure you have read it. Well, if you're so wish this is a Bible. Okay. Let me show you something. Let me start from verse 23. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 23. It says, But these people had a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our God that giveth rain, both the former and the later, in his season. He reserved unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Then the 25 says, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Pastor, I will continue, but let me just explain this. A time came among the children of Israel. God was telling them this. Do you understand? Because of their iniquity, God says, He says, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withhold good things from you. Which means that God can withhold good things from a nation. Now, why did God withhold things from them? Let us go to verse um, 26. He says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait and see that set the snares. They set a trap, they catch men. He said, for among my people, I found wicked men. He said, they lay wait and see the certain snares. They set a trap, they catch men. Now, sir, verse 27 says, As a cave is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxen rich. He's talking about those among the people. They have become deceitful. They have become wicked. And from that wickedness, they have waxen rich. But listen, he says, they are waxing fast, they shine, yes, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. That is why God punished them. That is why God withheld things from the children of Israel. Pastor, you should know this. He said, one, they overpass the deed of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. These people, because of this, God withheld good things from the nation Israel. In verse 29, it says, shall I, not, shall, I, shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? He said, will I not visit these people because of this wickedness? What were they do, doing? What did he say there? Let me go. For among my people, I found wicked. As a case full of the invasion, they are waxing fast, they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Are we not overpassing the deeds of the wicked today? Are you pastors today, for example, not overpassing the deeds of the wicked? Rich men come to church. Do we ask them how they got their money? 
but you give them front seats. That is what is going on. God, this alone makes God angry. It's enough to punish a nation because of this. Because he did it to the children of Israel. Is that not what is happening? Every pastor today wants the, the leaders, the, 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 the people in power to come. And when they come, you give them front seats and they donate money. Even if they stole the money, they donate money and the pastor is not saying anything. It is the pastor that is supposed to tell them, you, if you have gotten wealth, will perish. Go back and repent. But is it being said today, sir? No way. This was why God withheld something from the children of Israel. Now look at what, why again. In, um, in, a, in that verse 28, he said they, they are watching for that. They, they, they have become rich. They shine. Yeah. Why did they become rich? Because they will pass the deeds of the wicked. He said they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yeah, they prosper. Is that not what is happening today? Example, how many pastors are asking for the cause of the fatherless? How many people today, pastor, you, you have, your church has a school. How many poor people are in that school? The schools are expensive. How many poor people can afford the school fees that you are charging? I know the school side. So I'm sorry, but this is truth. How many poor people can go to that school? And this school, you know, because I'm a member of your church, or I was a member because I stopped coming. I was a member and you took pledges to build that school. And we contributed money. And today, the children of the poor cannot go to that school. Sir, this is money made in God's name. Sir, it is an abomination and God is angry. So I'm telling you that God gets angry when the poor are subjected to, to ridicule. When the poor are not helped, God is angry. That is the problem of our nation. Now look at again why God will tell good things from the children of Israel. He said, and the right of the needy do they not judge. The right of the needy. What is the right of the needy? Sir, there are madmen and women. As I was coming to see you, there is this mad woman under the bridge naked. She has been there for months and nobody cares. Church people drive past. The Muslims drive past. We call on the name of God, but nobody cares to, cares to take care of that woman. It is an abomination. The right of the needy, we do not judge in Nigeria. And you think that God will be happy? So this is the truth. That is the Bible. It's there. And look at it. Look at it. In our country today, is there anywhere that a poor man can go and have one meal a day? I have been opportune to live in the Western world. And there are, no, there are places where they have soup kitchens in case you do not have food. Where you can go and have food. Where do we have it in Nigeria, sir? Where? This is what the churches are supposed to be doing. But are they doing it? No. With God's money, a pastor is buying a church in a country where millions of people do not have enough to eat. Sir, it is an abomination and it is enough for God to withhold good things. If he did it to the children of Israel, he is doing it now in Nigeria, sir. Sir, it has nothing to do with President Buhari. Let me see, show you this. It says, Shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? That is, will I not deal with this nation that is doing this thing? God dealt with the children of Israel for doing this thing. And you think he will not deal with us for doing the same thing? You think he will not deal with us for leaving people hungry? Some people are dying just because they couldn't afford little money to go to the hospital. Yet the churches are buying jets. Buying jeeps, and you think God will be happy? Sir, this is the word of God. I'm sorry, sir. I, I know what I'm saying will, will, will be annoying you, but sir, this is the truth. I'm saying it because you're saying it's President Buhari, but sir, it is not President Buhari. This thing is spiritual. That is why you see people in the Western world, they will continue to give to the poor because they know that as you give to the poor, God will begin to prosper you. It is in all religious books to help the poor. It is as it is in Islam, so it is in Christianity. But in Nigeria, we have abandoned the poor. And that is why God is angry. If we all begin to help the poor and needy, God will begin to have mercy upon us. Sir, you know it's that the heart of a king is in the hand of God. 
If God wants to turn the heart of a king to do the right thing, he will turn it. If he wants to turn the heart of a king to do the wrong thing, he will turn it. If we begin to do the right thing, God will turn the heart of anybody, whether he is a dollar, whether he is an illiterate, to do the right thing that will benefit the people. That is all. Uh, Mr. Collins, please go back home. Your wife needs you. Please. Okay, you want me to go back to your wife? Well, I did not say I'm not going to go back. Just tell her to return the pictures. If she returns the picture, those pictures today and call me, I will go back home. I just want her to accept that I like this man. I like the fact that this man at his age is fighting to change our nation. And she doesn't want it. If she puts those pictures back, I will go home. So call her and tell her. Sir. All right, let me talk to her once more. Okay, sir. I'll see her. Thank you, sir. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, sir, if I offended you. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Bless you, sir.